Okay, how are you today? It's uh, Master Trainer Brendan Doherty here, and I've got a very special person with me today. He's a client and a very good friend of mine, Paul Noble. Um, Paul has overcome uh, enormous things to, to do the transformation that he has. You've probably seen his photo on the email that you just got of his before and after pictures. So firstly, let me introduce you to Paul. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Um, so what Paul's going to talk to you today is how his what what actually happened in the transformation to get from where he was at previously 120 kilos to today at um, a nice lean 10% body fat and 76 kilos. So I won't uh, take up too much time. So I'll hand it over to Paul. And uh, firstly, what I'll get you to do, Paul, is give us a bit of background on yourself, the the history of your health and fitness. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, I began life. Um fairly unwell unfortunately and uh, I was born with a condition that required uh, an immediate major surgery uh, and that surgery was, was fairly extensive it, it really involved a major reconstruction of my entire abdominal contents, my chest, uh, my bowel, my stomach and everything um, and it was sort of followed up through the years, most of my primary school years in fact uh, with subsequent surgeries and reconstructions uh, the side effects of which really left me in a situation where I was never well enough to be able to participate in any of the school sports. Uh, I missed a lot of school. Uh, I was very weak. Um, I had no really muscle mass or anything because I just wasn't a physical person at all. I was always too unwell uh, to exercise. And the doctors always told me uh, that I'd have problems later in life with my metabolism because of all the bowel surgery I'd had. And I think that for me that also sort of became one of those things that stuck in my mind and became a mindset for me. I was always expecting to be a fat person and uh, as they say, uh, if you think uh, negative thoughts, you'll get uh, negative outcomes and uh, I sure as heck did. <laughs> cool, that's cool Paul. So let me give, let me uh, first let the people listening sort of understand you, know, you were at 120 kilos at one point. Yep. Yep. So, what was the sort of lifestyle you were living to get to to get to 120 kilos? Uh, it was uh, sedentary, <laughs> to to put it bluntly. It was completely inactive. Um, for me, my day was basically spent, you know, sitting on the couch, watching TV, or uh, playing Daytona. That was one of my favourite pastimes. I'd play Daytona while I uh, munched through my uh, king size Kit Kat bars. And it wouldn't be unusual in an hour for me to eat two or three of those. Um, and then just to go back to watching TV, I just wasn't active at all. I didn't play football. I wasn't into sport of, of any kind at all, really. Um, the, probably the most active I ever was in my adult life was sort of pottering around doing a little bit of gardening uh, after I built my first house. But that's about as physical as it ever got for me. Uh, and, you know, di dietary-wise, um, I always ate very late in the day. I never ate breakfast. Um, I never usually got up on the weekends until well after lunch anyway. Um, and my diet was incredibly bad. McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Fish and Chips was a, a huge part of my diet. Just whatever was quick and easy. Um, I didn't cook at all in those days. So it was pretty much 100% takeaway food for me. Okay, yep. And so this sort of lifestyle, how did this sort of impact you emotionally? Were you happy with, with what you were doing? Oh, not at all. I mean, a lot of people that are overweight uh, act as if they're happy. Uh, in fact, they make a joke of themselves, you know, they always appear to be the, the up and bubbly ones. And I used to act as if I was, I suppose, at times, but um, I had terrible self esteem problems. I was miserable. I just basically I couldn't stand looking in the mirror. I um, just felt terrible about what I saw. I had no confidence. Um, I really didn't go out much. Uh, in my sort of late teens and early 20s, I wasn't at all the sort of person that would ever go out to a club. Um, or something like that. I didn't sort of go out chasing girls. I just didn't have the confidence at all to do that type of thing. So, yep, stayed home, played my day and watched TV. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so, obviously, at one point, you decided to make a change. Um, firstly, how old were you when you decided to make that change? Um, initially, uh, I was 34 when I decided to try and lose some weight. Um, I was working at the time and uh, one of my work colleagues, he was a, a new staff member um, who happened to be a personal trainer, just sort of pulled me aside one day after he watched me uh, down my Kentucky Fried Chicken and King Size Timeout Bar, I think it was on the day from memory, uh, for lunch 
and uh, I was about to hoe into a large slab of cheesecake because uh, one of our staff members was, was having a birthday on that day and he sort of pulled me aside and said, look, um, I don't mean to be rude, I don't know you very well, but um, you know, I'm concerned about uh, your, your health from what I'm seeing and uh, you know, you're only 34 years old, your diet is obviously very poor. Um, he explained to me that he was a personal trainer and that he would be able to help me and he'd, he'd like to do that. So um, I sort of took up the challenge at that point. And I did join the gym. Uh, he became my personal trainer. Um, he was an excellent personal trainer. Unfortunately, he was snapped up by a big chain of gyms in China <laughs> and he left the country a short time later. Uh, at that point, I lost my motivation and uh, stopped exercising and went back to poor diet. Okay, so... So up until you were 34 years old, so I'm sort of getting the feeling that you never actually exercised up until then? Not at all. Cool. So for people out there that are listening, and I know some people think, well, I've never exercised before, I don't know what to do. Um, Paul's now 44 years old, so he's only been exercising for, for 10 years, which is a fair amount of time, but up until 35, he had never been into a gym and never touched a weight in his life, so... Um, there's definitely something to think about there. So, obviously, that was sort of the moment you decided to change. Now, that was at 120 kilos? Yep, okay. and I lost a little bit of weight during that process. Unfortunately, uh, when Dave left and went overseas, uh, I fell back into my old ways, and I actually managed to get myself up just over 133 uh, at one point. It was wow. uh, yep. the worst shape I've ever been in my life. Um, and, you know, I think it was something like another four or five years before I decided to do anything. Uh, and the thing that really, you know, forced me into a position where I had to do something other than my failing health uh, was that my life essentially fell apart. Uh, I lost my partner, my partner left me for a much younger and much smaller man. Um, and as you can imagine, with already a weak self-esteem, that did me no favours at all. Uh, I felt as bad at that point as I could possibly feel about myself. Uh, I looked in the mirror and, you know, I sort of had to say to myself, well, why would you stay with somebody like me? Um, became very, very depressed. Um, the one good thing to come from that situation was that uh, I lost my appetite for food. Unfortunately, I replaced my appetite for food with an appetite for alcohol. And uh, I spent the next two years uh, drowning my sorrows with alcohol, uh, drinking every day and drinking heavily. Uh, so... You know, that did nothing for my fitness or my weight. I pretty much sat at around that 120 mark uh, until I met you. Okay, cool. So so let me just paint the picture for, for the people out there listening. So 34 years old was when you first decided to, to make some sort of change. For a little while, you lost a few kilos. Then all of a sudden, another five years went past. So at around about 39 years old, your, your partner left you. Uh, drank for another two years so that that takes us to about 41 years old now you're 44 now so now all of a sudden it's uh it's three years have gone past and i know you've definitely changed mm -hmm. immense and just let the people out there know what how has um the systems and the principles we implement at pure power fitness helped you to achieve this transformation uh, but really, for me, it's been an education. While I knew I was not doing anything positive for my body, I wouldn't have known really what to do uh, for my body to, to change uh, my body shape and my, my fitness. Um, I knew I had to exercise, but again, uh, I wouldn't have known what kind of exercise to perform. Um, the real thing for me also was the re-education into eating habits, um, nutrition. Um, I didn't have a basic understanding of proteins and carbohydrates. To me, it was just all food. I didn't know when to eat. So Pure Power Fitness has taught me how to exercise, um, what kinds of exercise will produce what kind of result uh, with my body. And also, it's taught me all about nutrition, how to time my nutrition metabolically so that I get the best from every workout, that I get good recoveries, and that I also gradually increase my metabolism and, and burn fat, and I have a full understanding of that now and that was something that I could never ever have got without coming to Pure Power Fitness. Okay, cool. So in the three years, basically you've gone from an overweight, unhappy person and uh, we just did Paul's measurements and uh, and Paul is actually at 10% body fat. So what that, what that basically means for you out there that he is in the healthiest bracket that a male can be at his age. So in three years, he's gone from being depressed, um, borderline alcoholic, very unhappy, um, and now I know today, 
10% body fat, 76 kilos. Do you know what roughly how many centimetres you've lost off your body? Um, I think it's over 100. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but I think it's something like 106. 100, thereabouts. 106 centimetres, wow. Okay, and I know I see Paul uh, pretty much every day. I know he's a very cheerful, happy guy. So how is your emotions now that you're achieved this transformation oh look i feel awesome these days you know i feel really confident Um, my whole life has changed through this process my career has changed Uh, my personal life has changed i've got a fantastic new partner i have a great relationship with my kids i love my new job Uh, things really couldn't be better to be perfectly honest i've never felt this good in my entire life and you were just saying that uh, i'm in the healthiest bracket i could be for my age i'm actually the healthiest i've ever been in my adult life uh, and that just makes me feel fantastic. And, uh, you know, just looking forward to more of the same now. Okay, cool, cool. And um, for people out there that are listening, obviously, guys that are listening there, um, you probably you might have a, been in a similar situation to what Paul has been into. Do you have any recommendations out there for, for what they should do? Take action. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't wait. Yeah. Take action today. Uh, it's very, very easy to focus on the negative thoughts and to take the easy road. Um, It is very difficult to take action and to take the harder road, but the reward uh, is in the result. And I can can tell you from my own experience, uh, you will not feel better uh, about yourself by doing nothing. The only way you're gonna feel better about yourself and to feel better in life is to take action and to take action immediately. Okay, great. And um, so we're pretty much about to wrap this up now. Is there any last words for, for anyone out there that's, uh, that's considering joining up with Pure Power Fitness and is still not sure yet? Um, all I can say is that I could not more highly recommend Pure Power Fitness um, to help you with your, on your road to health and fitness. Um, get up off the couch and get in contact with Brendan today and start exercising, uh, start eating well and start reaping the benefits. Okay, cool. Thank you, Paul, and uh, thank you for listening out there.